Okay, we are very, very nearly there now. We're now actually going to see what binomial expansion can be used for. Up until this point, we've just been doing it as like a tool that you can add to your algebraic toolkit so that you can just do more kinds of mathsy things. But this is actually a, a direct application of how we might be able to use it. So I'm just going to go straight in with an example of this to help us do some estimating questions. This one says, first of all, part A, find the first four terms of the binomial expansion in ascending powers of x of this thing that we've got here, giving each term in its simplest form. So let's just have a go. I'm going to start off with my coefficients, and it's to the power of 8. So I know it's going to go 1, 8, and then it's going to be an 8 choose 2. So I'm going to use my calculator. 8 choose 2, and that's 28. And then I'm going to do the fourth one, which is going to be 8 choose 3, which is 56. OK, then I'm going to do ascending powers of x. So that means my 1 powers are going to be going down, and my x over 4 powers are going to be going up. Well, all of these are just going to be 1s, so there's not much point in doing them, because they're going to be to the power of anything, they're going to be 1. This is going to be 1, because it's to the power of 0. This is to the power of 1. This is squared, and this one is cubed. So 1 plus x over 4 to the power of 8 is going to be equal to all of these bits multiplied. That's just going to be 1 plus 8 times x over 4 plus 28 times x over 4 squared plus 56 times x over 4 cubed. So, pretty boring here. Well, this is just 8 divided by 4, which is 2x. This one, I won't type in fraction squared. I'm too lazy. So I'm just going to do 28 divided by 4 divided by 4. And you get 7 over 4x squared. And then I've got 56 times by x over 4 cubed. So again, I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. That's the over 4 cubed, which is 7 over 8x cubed. Now, obviously, this would keep going, but we're only doing the first four terms here, so I'm happy just to leave it like that. And then it says, use your expansion. This is the new part. Use your expansion to estimate the value of this thing, giving your answer to four decimal places. So I have just worked out that, let's do this for part B of the question. I know that 1 plus x over 4 to the power of 8 is 1 plus 2x plus 7 over 4x squared plus 7 over 8x cubed. And that does keep going. They want me to find out what the, the an estimation of 1.025 to the power of 8 is. Well, let's have a look. I want to somehow use this thing and this thing. They're both to the power of 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that 1 plus x over 4, if I make it the same as 1.025, if I find out what x is, I can then put x inside this thing. So I'm going to solve this equation. I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So it's 0 0.025. And I'm going to be super lazy, and I'm going to times both sides by 4, and I get 0 0.1. So if I substitute in x equals 0 0.1, if I sub in x equals 0 0.1 here, the left hand side will be 1.025 to the power of 8. So the right hand side will be my estimate. Let's try it out. So I am going to say now that let x equal 0 0.1. So 1.025 to the power of 8 is approximately equal to 1 plus 2 times 0 0.1 plus 7 over 4 times 0 0.1 squared plus 7 over 8 times 0 0.1 cubed. I'm just going to put that in my calculator. I'm going to be lazy. I'll put 0 0.1 and say that's equals. That's my answer. So it's now going to be 1 plus 2 answer plus 7 answer over 4 whoops, answer squared over 4 plus 7 answer cubed over 8. I really don't like using the fraction button. I'm very lazy. 1.218375, which is going to be equal to 1.2184 to four decimal places.
Let's compare it to the true value. So the true value is 1.025 to the power of 8. The true value is 1.2184 to four decimal places. So actually, it does give a really good estimate. So it does give a really close estimate. In fact, it gives the estimate correct to four decimal places. It's very good. OK, you can have a go at doing this one, um, but I'm going to work through this one as well. And then after this, it's exercise 8E, and then we'll do some exam questions. So pause it and have a go if you'd like to. OK, let's go a little bit faster this time. So we're going to do 1 plus x over 2 to the power of 10. I'm going to do my coefficients. They're going to be 1, 10, 10 choose 2. That's 45. And 10 choose 3 is 120. I'm then going to have the 1s. Well, the 1s are so boring. They're going to be going descending. And the x over 2s are ascending. Well, they're just going to be 1s. And then I'm going to have 1, power of 0, power of 1, power of 2, power of 3. So 1 plus x over 2 to the power of 10 is just going to be coming down these lists. See if I can do this straight away. So I'm going to have 1 plus, well, 10 divided by 2, that's going to be 5x. Now I'm going to have 45 divided by 2 divided by 2. I think this is just going to be 45 divided by 4. This is just going to be 45 over 4. And that's x squared. And I'm going to do 120 divided by 2 cubed. So 120 divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2. And you get 15. And I get 15x cubed. So I went a little bit faster there, but it's trying to save us a little bit of your time as well. Part B of the question, we're going to now try and estimate the value of 1.005. So we're going to compare these two things. We're going to compare this thing to the power of 10 and this thing to the power of 10. So I'm going to let 1 plus x over 2, 1.005. I'll subtract 1 from both sides. And I'm going to double it. This is where I'm really bad with place value. I know it's not good for me to say as a math teacher, but it is. It's true. 0 0.01. So I'm going to sub in x equals 0 0.01 into this thing. So my estimate for 1.005 to the power of 10 is going to be 1 plus 5 times 0 0.01 plus 45 over 4 times 0 0.01 squared plus 15 times 0 0.01 cubed. And I'm just going to put this all in. So again, I'm going to store my 0 0.01 in the calculator as the answer. So it's going to be 1 plus 5 times the answer, plus 45 answer squared over 4, plus 15 answer cubed. I'm just going to double check it was 15. It was 15x cubed. Good. And that gives us to five decimal places, um, 1 1.0511. Four. In fact, it gives it exactly to five decimal places. Let's compare it to the true answer. So it is 1.05 to the power of 10. 1.005 to the power of 10. Yeah, and it's actually really, really similar. So it's always good to check your answer with this because then you'll know you've done a whole thing correctly. So what I'd like you to have a go at now is exercise 8E. It's all about estimations.